Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Carla, also known as Little the Devil. You asked for more knife reviews and today is the day. So, I have two of CVV's latest releases. You know I do this every month and I'm excited to show you guys the Concept 22 and the Spiny Dogfish. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's start with a quick unboxing of the Concept 22. I am really excited about this one because this one was designed by Tough Knives. You guys, we all know each other in the community. Tough Knives is a great knife reviewer. His name is Jeff Blovelt. I hope I didn't butcher his name, but this one is an epic fixed blade. It looks mean from the drawing on the box. I know it's gonna be a mean one. As always, CVV includes some beautiful stickers on the box, some instructions, and then you get a beautiful felt style knife cloth. And here we go. We have the sheath that I will show you guys in a second and the knife. Okay, so check this out. <laughs> oh my God. And here, let me tell you something, you guys, I have small hands. You guys always tell me that I make knives look huge, but I will give you guys the actual overall length of this right away. So you know, it's a 9.88 in overall length. So there you have it. I mean, five inches on the handle length and the blade length is 4.8 inches. What a mean looking blade. I got the G10 OD green handle with a black lanyard, which you can remove it if you'd like. You can add something that you prefer in here. So let's go ahead and talk specs. So the blade is a D2 steel, which I think it's great. CVV offers really high quality budget friendly knives. So for the price point of this knife, which is uh, 110, this one is great. Look at the size of the blade. It's great for its use. Now, um, it is a flat grind. It is also a modified tanto. You can actually tell by the curvature of the blade. Really, really sweet. I'm gonna show you on this side. You guys get the tough knife logo right there as well so that you guys get also the designer involved on this. I have to tell you, you know, um, let's hone in on the handle. And I already said G10, but it's comfortable. You know, um, it's a big knife for me, but for what I would use it for, which is more like a survival kind of knife or like something that I would take on an adventure or camping or hunting, I would love to have like a really nice oversized knife, you know, to keep me company. So I think that the ergos are great. The size is great. And I do love this, the shape of the blade. So I think um, they did a great job together, CVV and Tough Knife. Now let's talk about the sheath because the sheath was actually designed, it's a T-clip and I have seen this before. And there's a plane, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so I have seen this clip before. It is a T-clip and it's designed by Bob Terzuola, which he has collaborated in some fixed blades for CVV in the past. I think I have reviewed one in the past, so go ahead and check the link up here. And it is really neat, you know, the mechanism is very straightforward. You actually press on the sides to release it. And then there you have it. You can um, use it on your belts and there you have it. So it, it really is like a meaty kind of like looking kydex sheath. It has multiple holes for lanyard, paracord or whatever you like to add. And the blade fits really nicely in the sheath, clips in, beautiful design. Are you guys ready for the next one? Cause I am, this one is a fixed blade. Obviously, let's go ahead and talk about the spiny dogfish. CVV's folding knives always come in a beautiful um, pouch with a zipper and it has some protection in there. It's like a, like a very soft felt. And here is the spiny dogfish. I think the name is obvious where it came from. Uh, the handle has a spiny sort of design, which I really like. It's comfortable on the hand. Um, and I do like handles with patterns like this because it allows for them not to slip on you. I'm a clumps, you know? <laughs> so It's already hard enough to hold an knife. Imagine it's slipping from you. So there you have it. Now let's go ahead and talk specs. Okay, as you can see from the design, this one is a manual thumb hole. So I'm gonna do the slow-mo because you always tell me I flick my knives, but you guys, I do that for effect. It's fun to do. So slow-mo on this one. Um, you put your thumb in and you slide it open. Reverse tantal blade, which I love. I think the design is really sweet. Um, what else on the blade on this one? 
It is a 14C28N, which again, I have seen with Civivi in the past. Stone wash finish, very nice. Um, I think the blade length is pretty awesome for an EDC knife, something that you can carry with you all the time. So the blade length is 3.47, which I think is, you know, most people like uh, between three and four inches. Um, I think that's great. Now, let's talk about the handle, which I think is the star of this show. So it is a G10 with the pattern spiny, I, I believe, you know. This one is black. I know it comes in a few different colors. It comes with a very minimalistic um, tip up right hand carry clip and it's thin i really like that you know it fits in your pocket it doesn't you know it, you don't show your knife as much which i think it's part of the plan when you're carrying so again really nice this one has a liner lock as well here let me show you again liner lock right there which means that you push it to the side and then it releases down then you move your thumb out of the way and then you close the knife Again, some of you guys are new to my channel, so I'm showing you everything. I do a lot of knife reviews. I have reviewed so many CVVs in the past. If you're interested in CVV, they are amazing. I'm a huge fan. I love the C of CVV because it kind of speaks to my name, Carla. But I also think that they create high quality, really awesome, like smooth action, budget friendly knives that you can use for many different situations. So you guys need to check them out. Okay, let me see what I missed on this one. So, oh, this one was designed by Gavco Knives. Um, I, I know that there's the logo here on the blade. There you see it. And I think it's a great size for EDC, honestly. Okay, everybody, that concludes the review today. I am glad you are here joining me for another knife review with CVV. You guys know I will present a couple of CVV's newest releases every month on the day that they release them. So you have to go ahead and check out all my playlists and make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to be the first one to watch the videos. The links for these knives, as well as my code to save money is gonna be also in the description of this video. Don't forget to check out CVV and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.